and maybe this week part of this mess will go away. <laughs> Here we go. Got a van full of wood. <laughs> it's for my platform. Went to 84 lumber and they cut it for me. So tomorrow construction begins. I want to get this done ASAP. And I was able to find a roll of this indoor outdoor carpet at a place called Carpet Barn. So they sold it to me for $25. So like I said, tomorrow construction begins, and over here, I bought six two-by-fours for the support legs. Huge red bag there. That's my inflatable kayak <laughs> and all the equipment that goes with it. Took up, takes up a lot of space but I don't have a roof carrier I don't have a cargo carrier for this van so that's how it is for now it does take up a lot of space though Okay, my challenge is the curve and the molding. <laughs> so, see, I had to come back anyhow because of that right there. And the curve on this side. Wow. <laughs> Fun stuff. Okay, let's try this again. I'm not going to record it this time. Okay, I just measured from wall to wall, and it's actually 67 inches. And this is shorter than 67. It's 66, around 66 and a half, maybe, depending on what edge you cut. <laughs> um, it's just all this plastic crap that I'm having trouble getting it around in the curves of the van. That's why I'm having so much trouble. Oh boy, if I could just at least get it in, I can kind of rest it on top of the ice chest and the, uh, yeah, the refrigerators. And then go from there. Just having a lot of trouble. <laughs> it's not working out very well. <laughs> Alrighty, I got the uh, carpet over the piece of plywood. Alright, the carpet helped a lot. It uh, didn't give me as much a fight with the carpet over it. So, now what I have to do is figure out how high I want this before I make my um, cuts on my 2 by 4s the legs. Oh my gosh, what a job. What a job. But I do like having the open space in the back. Right here. How many feet is this? So it'll give me... Oh, about 16... Approximately 15 to 16 extra inches. Okay, I just did a cut. My brother told me this would cut through a 2x4, but really you have to flip it. So I didn't get a perfectly even cut. 22 inches. We'll take it inside. Let's measure it just to be sure. Yep, 22. Take it inside and raise it up and see what happens. Alrighty. That's uh. 
how it's going to be. So that's nice and high at a good level. Let's go around. Unfortunately, I can't finish the project right now because my sister showed up. We need to go put flowers at the cemetery. But yeah, that's awesome. That's going to work. It puts me about at a nice level. I need to measure from the ceiling to the platform and uh, make sure I have enough clearance there. Uh, day two of the platform build. I would have gotten a lot done more yesterday, but uh, you know, I had other things I had to get done. So we're back at it today. We're going to finish this project today. Oh, I guess I need to put uh, support beams in the middle too. That'll make it stronger. But here are my support beams. Cut it 22 inches. So that leaves enough space between the ceiling and the platform for my pet crates and uh, all my equipment and such underneath. I moved my big cooler over here and then uh, I'll decide on the little cooler. I'll most likely put it here because that just seems like the most convenient spot to be able to pull it in and out of. And then I'll have to uh, figure out where to put these batteries in a safe spot. I think maybe over in this corner here. Uh, so, what I did was I took this board here, and then I hammered it against that support beam, because otherwise you're going to get a whole bunch of hammer marks all over your support beams. Although it doesn't really matter, but I figured, you know, why mess up the integrity? So now what I have to do is screw them down. I got big uh, deck screws to screw them down with. I just have to uh, kind of gauge it all, figure out where my points are for the screws to go in through the top. It shouldn't be too difficult, right? <laughs> yeah. So I'll get that done. I'm not going to show that process. Right here are the deck screws. I asked them if they would be okay if they would split the two by fours and they said no it'll be okay to use these so <laughs> let's hope so we shall see I got a lot of two by fours though I bought extras actually I bought a lot more than I realized I needed which is fine hey buddy what you doing there huh what you doing there <laughs> it's a neighbor's cat he rolled he came over the other day and uh, played with his tail <laughs> so funny it's like, what are you doing? So we're going to get the drill and hopefully this will all go well. We shall see. That went way better than expected. <laughs> way better, thank goodness. I had to pre-drill with this little bit and then just kind of poked, twisted them in there a little bit. And this is a different type. So I'm glad that they uh, included the bit because I would have been upset. There we go. There we go. Done. Yay. Got one more. Oh, it's feeling a lot more solid. Of course it should, right? And the nice thing is, they're, most of them are going below the carpet. I'm looking underneath just to make sure that they went in where they were supposed to, and they did. Awesome. The boards are nice and sturdy now. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and arrange everything. Not everything, but arrange my ice chest. And uh, the batteries... And then I'll put the center braces in because I do feel, I mean, it's not thick wood, so I do feel like I should put a center brace in there as well. It's going along pretty nice now. Yeah, they're not perfect. Who cares? Who cares? As long as they stay. <laughs> okay, I just uh, plugged the fridges back in. They've been off for a little while, but not long enough to do any harm to the contents. 
So I'm going to keep the freezer over here and the fridge over there and I can still open and access that freezer without pulling it out. So that's pretty cool. I like that. I keep them on rubber mats because they do sweat. Alrighty, so now I'm going to go out and cut my three center beams and we'll get busy on that. All right, that front center beam there, that's attached now. This one is not attached yet because I want to put my bins in here and make sure I put it in the proper place. But I'm quite pleased with the way it's turning out. Oh, and another thing about this build, or about this platform, is Yeah, I can't see against the sun. This panel right here is where my jack and my tire tools are. So it's a good thing. Right there is the end of the platform. So, and I didn't even take that into consideration. I didn't even think about it. So if you're building a platform, think about stuff like that. I got lucky. <laughs> I got lucky and did not block that part off. So I'm happy about that. Okay, let's put some stuff back in and see how everything fits. Okay, I got some stuff in here. Here's my kitchen gear. Spices are in here. Food products are in here. Um, cooking oils and such are in this container. This container down here is propane and butane. This one carries some miscellaneous kitchen items and more kitchen items. So, because I do want to cook while I'm on the road, um, I don't like to stop and hit fast food places and stuff when I camp. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So that'll work. I, I Actually, I can put my gas one grill on top of there, too. That'll work. I'm not going to put a beam here yet. I'll just put it in the van and keep it in here in case I do need it. But, you know, the only thing that's going up on here are crates. Dog crates cat crates whatever so oh and there's my window stuff my reflectix I can shove it in here there we go that'll work so I got all my reflectix and a couple of other items I took the paddles out of the kayak and stuck them there so I was able to smash it down and put it in here so that works one thing you don't want to do is block off the vents on the refrigerator, so that's well opened. And this is cat litter, but cords and stuff. So yeah, I'm happy with this. It's going to work. Okay, I'm going to finish putting everything in and uh, fix my window covers because they were a little too tight, so I'm going to fix those before I put them back in. And it is heating up and uh, it gets warm in here without them. <laughs> it's done. Very good, very good. Everything's fitting. I still got space because I have my uh, some gear inside still, like clothes and such. And this was way, way, way more screws than I really needed. I mean, way more. However, it did come with the bit, which I don't have with me. I do have these, but they're in the motorhome. <laughs> so I'm not going to complain because I probably would have paid <laughs> about five or six bucks for that bit anyhow, or more, who knows. But I'm thrilled. And now my toolbox is going to fit in here too. Yes. Awesomes. Bag here it contains a whole bunch of miscellaneous items, my Dremel, drill bits, tape, uh, just stuff like that. So it's nice to have a dedicated spot for it now too. And nothing is against that uh, freezer, so I'm not going to have any issues with anything blocking airflow. Oh, I am stoked! And actually, my uh, little Portable vacuum and stuff will fit in there too. My car vac, that's what I'm trying to say. So I'm gonna go grab it. And I can also throw tripods and stuff in here. Easier now, huh? Yes. Okay, we are 
finished 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 everything fits nicely under the platform nothing's blocking the back of the refrigerator all my food items and cooking items and such are over here oh i do have my uh kitchen backpack it's inside the house but it will fit right here i just uh yeah get that out of the way and dog food cat food platform is awesome it is awesome go inside and see how everything looks. This is so cool. I can lay here in silence in my van and watch the world go by. Love it. It's so peaceful. No TV, no game shows. <laughs> My mom loves game shows. Uh, I'm digging this. I am digging this. <laughs>